Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, it's been a minute since I had a video put up, but uh, been working a lot of hours, even though it's cold out. Here's the problem, okay? I've been buffing this hood. It's actually buffing out nice. Problem is, let me get this out of the way, is uh, it doesn't fit anymore. And this is a $700 hood. I am not, I, I don't want to cut this hood. Um, if you look and see if I can get it under here. Oh, fingers are in the way. Uh, if you can see that, you know, the blow off valve, just about everything is hitting on the bottom side of the hood now that I got the new intake manifold on. So that's not going to work. At least it's not going to work for this application. I do not want to cut this hood. If something ever happened where I didn't want to run a turbo, I don't want to run a hood with a big, gigantic, gaping hole in it. Okay, to solve this problem, up in the rafters, there's an, that's the stock hood that came, well, not the stock hood, but the hood that was on it when I got it. That's a hardwood hood. It's only a two, I think a two and a half inch cowling or a two and a half inch raise. So I think that's going to be the next project, guys, is getting that hood to fit this car with really no cowling, which means I'm going to have to sculpt a nice, oh, let's say gigantic hole in, uh, in the hood. So that's going to be the next project. Um, car's running phenomenal. Uh, it's starting to look good and doing a little bit of buffing. This is all residue from where I was, uh, where I was, uh, wet, I'm not wet sanding, but buffing and polishing on the hood and got the top nice and clean sides are nice and done. So it's coming along great guys, except for the hood. I do not want to cut that hood, especially right in there. So we're going to not cut this one. I don't have a problem cutting that one. That one was on. It didn't cost me anything. This one cost me a lot of money. So that's what we're doing now, guys. I got to back the car out. It's uh, 8 o'clock at night. It's dark. It's cold. So I'm going to open the doors, back the car out, get my, uh, get my trusty ladder in here. And I do have a real ladder. It's not going to be any kind of redneck shit. And we're going to get the hood out of the rafters. So stick around guys, we're going to try to figure out a way to cut a nice sculpted hole in that hood without completely destroying it or having a big gaping crater. So hang out. All right guys, <laughs> it's not up there anymore. It's not on there yet. Man, does that look like shit. That's been up in those rafters for quite a few years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to wash it. Then I'm going to, and you guys are going to go along with me if you're interested in watching this stuff. We're going to figure out a way to measure from side to side and every point that I can possibly get to sculpt a hole that looks good coming through the hood where there's no, you know, not, not a lot of big gaps. There's going to be gaps, but not going to be not a lot of big gaps. And then after I get the hole cut the way I want it sculpted, I'm going to sand this down prime it and paint it glossy black to match this one. So I will have an option if I need an option to run the smaller cowl, which that's, that might be a three. I think it's a two and a half. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. I'm not going to measure it. You guys tell me what you think that is. Two and a half or a three, two, whatever. And uh, we're going to put that on there. Car's looking good. Sounds good, running good. We're gonna get the windows tinted. We're gonna have a nice little street car here. Make 630 uh, rear wheel horsepower. We're gonna go for 700. 700 rear wheel horsepower is a lot of power for the street, especially in a car that weighs less than 3,000 pounds. Haha, ha, you can see my shadow right there. There I am. Ha ha. All right, enough of that stupid stuff. All right, guys. Uh, if you enjoy the video, which I don't know if you do or not, this one's kind of shitty. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good, happy stuff. But this one's just not going to cut it right now. There's quite a gap there. Quite a gap there, and there's one over there. And if I do try to push it down, it makes it makes the hood bow, and it's just it's just not it's not going to fit. I've tried turning the elbow down. I've tried turning it sideways, which it is now, and it's still not going to fit. And so, and if you look like right there, you can see there's a bulge. So I don't want to cut this hood, guys. So anyway, stick around. Like, share, subscribe. And hey, welcome back, guys. Um, 
I did some uh, surgery on this fiberglass hood. There's the hood that I do not want to cut. I mean, would you guys cut that? Leave it in the comments. I, there I am again. Hello. Um, nope. Damn, I'm going to trip over everything in here. I do not want to cut this hood. That hood's just way too nice to cut a hole in, so nope, I'm not cutting it. This one's been up in the rafters for four years. I haven't used it for anything. So I tried to cut a tight hole. Got a little bit mm, too much there, but... Everything else seems to be pretty good. I'm going to do uh, some door guard around the hole. I'm going to sand it up and paint it. But all in all, I don't think it's too bad. So that's what I've been doing today. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like, share, subscribe. You know, all that good, happy uh, YouTube stuff. But for right now, that's where we're at. Got, the hood, uh, got this hood sitting here. I'm not doing, I'm not cutting it. And I may or may not use this one. I may figure something else out, but I'm going to uh, sand it down, put some door guard around it or some edge trim or whatever the hell it's called and paint it black and see how it looks. May look good, may not. So stick around, guys. That's where we're at right now. All right, what's going on, guys? I'm back. Um, after I get the whole rough cut, and then I brought it here in the back of the truck so I can sand on it a little bit. It's kind of a crappy-ass day out here, so... It doesn't really matter. So I brought it here. I got the final cut. I went here, rounded off these edges, and I'm out here sanding it with a small block and some 220. I'm going to get it primed up and get it painted here probably today or tomorrow. Let me take it to work with me and paint it there. But that's the hole. It actually fits very well. I'll show you guys in a few minutes how, the, how it actually fits. But I bought some door guard. I went to Advanced Auto last night. There's the baby right there. And, uh... I bought some, uh, what's going on? I bought some, uh, let me get it so you can see it. I bought some of this uh, edge trim, but this is carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber edge trim. I'm gonna put this around the inside of that hole to try to trim it out so it doesn't look bad. After I paint it black, I think it's gonna look really good on there. Um, this is only like 20 bucks. And I'll have a little bit extra left over. This is 18 feet, I don't need 18 feet. So I'll have some left over to do other things maybe. But I'll be back in just a minute and show you uh, how the hood actually fits now that it's pretty much done being with the rough cut. Now I'm sanding. Damn, that looks good. I hate to cover that up. I still like that hood better, but damn, I'm just having a hard time thinking about even cutting that hood. So we're going to do this other hood for a little while. And I'm going to keep my hood pins. I'm going to make them so they fit both hoods. So I'm going to put them back where they were with that hood. And then make them fit the other hood. So if I do want to interchange hoods or if I do decide to cut a hole in that one, which I'm trying to talk myself out of doing, I could interchange either one of them. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Stick around. Get a cold drink. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry, guys, that these videos are few and far between. Uh, upstate New York, it's kind of a rough time of the year to get any kind of things done. And the engine's good. The transmission's good. Everything's good. So, uh it's kind of hard to come up with content and I can't travel like a lot of people can uh, work will not allow it um, it just it's just not gonna happen right now so stick around guys like I said get a cold beverage of your choice and we'll be back in a minute all right guys um, I'm gonna show you this one more time and I'm probably gonna close the video up well we're gonna go from this beautiful work of art how shiny that bad boy is we're gonna go to this Okay, this one's going to be just as shiny. It's going to look just as good. I'm getting ready to prime it now. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Um, I, I just, I can't bring it. Yeah. There I am. I'm a ghost. I cannot bring it. I cannot bring myself to cutting this, a hole in this hood. I just can't do it. Not right now anyway. I don't know, maybe during the summer or some other time, I don't know. But that one right there, I've had this hood for quite a long time. It's been up in the rafters. It's been up there for a long time. So now it's not. Uh, we're going to paint this one up use this one. So um, you guys want to stick around for another day or so, I'm going to take this and I'm going to get it painted. Or I'm going to paint it. I don't pay anybody to do anything. And... uh then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So stick around, guys. Again, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, and I got to quit saying, guys. So stick around, guys. <laughs> I did it again.
Uh, there it is, all finished painted. It's got to be wet, sanded, and buffed yet. It's got some boogers in it. But for what I've got into it, I'm not going to complain. Nothing. So all I got to do is I got a little sandpaper, a little 400 grit, and work up to 1200, buff it, polish it, good enough. There's the other one. There's this one. So I'm happy with it. Um, you know, the car runs good. I want it to look good too. It's not actually pushed down all the way yet. And I'm going to be changing my hood pins to blue. Probably going to change my blow off valve to blue. So everything has a little bit more of a uh, color scheme to it. But there we go, guys. It's all done. Short of wet sanding and buffing. You can see the boogers in it. Where I painted it was quite dirty, but quite dusty. But I can sand that out. All right, guys. That's that. Hope you enjoy it. Like, share, subscribe.